Yo, what is up? What is up? Welcome back to another episode of the Adventures of Simi.G. And we are here chilling in the gallery of the 890, just looking out into the vast space and wilderness of the moon of Microtech, Euterpe. And today, we're going to do something I wanted to do in this game for a long time, but in previous patches, the tech just wasn't there, and that's mining from a prospector. In the 890 jump, with extra mole bags and stuff, we have everything we need to stay out here in, in this vast wilderness for as long as we can. So, we have the prospector down below, and after that, we have a bunch of bags that we're going to use to refuel and restock as we go. So... We're going to head down and get suited up and try this out and see how it works. So without any further ado, let's get on with it. Okay guys, we're going to do a little bit of flying around, see if we can find any good prospects. Now, I'm not going to be too picky with what I find. We're pretty much going to take everything, you know, we're going to hoover up everything. This is more of a learning experience and, you know, I want to see exactly how long it's going to take and how viable this whole thing is. It looks like we have a little bit of a prospect right here. See if I can hit it up with a little bit of a scan. Sometimes the scanners don't work too well. We might have to do it from the ship itself. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything's coming up. Try it one more time. It sucks. I wish that the scanning would work. You used to be able to see it. I, I could have swore they changed it so you could see sort of what was in the rock from a regular ship. You didn't actually need to be in a mining ship, but it's so finicky. I mean, it sucks to having to land, and if it's not what I like, well, you know, then I have to get back into the captain's chair and fly around and find something else. But we'll land here. Alright guys, let's get suited up, gotta get out of these civvies, get into the working man's gear. So we take off the clothes here, and I think I'm gonna put on the Narukov again, I, I like it, it's, it's a nice little suit, it's good for working, it's when you're doing, when you're out here doing, you know, blue collar work baby, even though it's a yellow suit, but you know what I mean. So, helmet on. I am rocking out this different helmet. Oh man, it doesn't match at all. But I like the fact that it's smoked. Definitely doesn't match the suit. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll rock out with it for a little bit. Might have to change it. I wish it would have. I think it's called Ascension. Well, whatever. All right, let's head out. So, as you can see here, guys. Whoa, baby. We got plenty of Prospector. Well, sorry. Plenty of mole bags here. We're gonna use this to make us stay out as long as we can. So you normally there are only four bags on a prospector. So once you fill up the four bags, you would have to head to a refinery station, and um, you know, it'll be end of your trip there. But now we have all these mole bags. We don't have to head to the refinery as soon as we need to. Let me open up the doors so we can get on with it. But anyway, like I said. We're going to fill up as much as we, th we can. I'm not going to be too picky on what we find. And hopefully I get some good experience mining. I don't mine too often, but I think I will <laughs> be doing it a lot more. If you see on the front, we have uh, the Helix 1 on this. So that's going to be our mining head. I also have two modules on there, a Stampede. And we have the Brant module. So hopefully we'll be able to break... The biggest rocks we can as a single prospector 
I went for the strongest mining uh, head, but yeah, we'll see. Let's head out. Come on, power on. Engines on, we out. Oh yeah. Man, this moon is so foggy. All right, hopefully everything will be all right. We'll be able to see. Now, that first rock we were looking for, where is it? I know it was somewhere around here. All right, guys. That first rock didn't have anything, anything valuable on there, so I found this cluster not too far away. And we'll see what we have here. Okay, so let's get a good scan on this first rock. It doesn't look too big. I think we might be able to handle this. All right, we got 5,000 mass. It's an easy rock. We got some copper and, and inert materials. Not looking for copper. Copper is a low tier item. I'll take low tier items if there is a mid tier item with it. Okay, what do we got here? 4,000 mass. We have boras and copper. Man, it's hard to stay still on this moon. The storm is raging. Holy crap. Okay, let's take, let's see if we can take this out. Oh my god, it's hard to stay steady. Okay, maybe Euterpe wasn't the right moon to mine on, or at least to start, but I wanted to see. I want to try all the moons eventually, but uh, yeah, I think I'm. Oh my god, holy crap. We are getting blown all over the place, guys. Can't stay in the optimal range for long. Let me get a little closer. Got to get a little closer. Come on. Oh, man. As soon as I get to the green, this thing blasts right through and goes to the red. I'll try and feather this thing. I think the, the helix might be a little bit too powerful. Come on. I think we got it, though. And we got our first break of the day, baby. Oh, yeah. Hard-working, hard-working man over here. All right, let's see what we got here. Man, it is really hard to stay still, guys. This wind's got me blowing all over the place. Can't even get a scan. Holy crap. I might just have to take it no matter what. Not really picky here, guys. As time goes on and uh, you know I get more rocks under my belt, maybe we'll start being a little bit more picky on the rocks we take. But for now, I just want to get my feet wet and you know get into mining. Holy crap, we're about to hit the ground. This this moon. All right, so Euterpe is not going to be the ideal moon to mine on, but I don't feel like taking my bags and leaving just yet. We're gonna fight through, guys. We're gonna. I kind of like the challenge to be honest with you, but man, it is really crazy. We cannot stay still. Definitely can't solo mo mine on this on this moon. All right, what do we have here? Okay, I think I'll take this. Whoa, holy crap! Whoa, 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 whoa! Jeez! All right, I'm trying to trying to. I cannot fly forward, guys. It's like as soon as I let go of the sticks for a second, I let go of the sticks to press the mining laser. I immediately got blown back. Holy crap. That is crazy. Hopefully the storm lets up eventually. Is this storm going to go forever? Alright. We're getting a little bit of rocks there. It's blow every t As soon as I go to hit the, the mining laser, we get blown back. I'm trying to hit a little bit of boost there. You know what? We're just going to take... Oh my god. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We might crash. Is the winds this strong? I might have to... I don't know what I can do. Oh, yeah, we definitely hit. Okay, cool. Yeah, this thing is blowing us all over the place. So, there you go. FYI, guys, if you come to mine at Euterpe, just be ready to battle the winds. I'm not 100% on every moon and what's available on what moon and, you know, which moon is the best. I know a lot of people mine on Daymar and uh, Ariel as well, but... And I didn't feel like going to the Iron Halo. I actually wanted to do some land mining. Holy crap. But I figured... Whoa, we're getting blown over. Yeah, so I figured I would mine at the Microtech moons first. Since 
Microtech seems to be the road less travel for when it comes to its moons. Is uh, Microtech the planet is definitely a hotbed, but not that many people spend time on the moons, and I could kind of see why. Huh. All right. Let me just see if I can orientate myself a little bit. Don't want to give this cluster up. I'm pretty sure we're almost full here. Let me at least fill this hole and then we might decide to leave. I don't know. I kind of I kind of like the challenge, but we're going to mine it every moon, guys. We're going to mine it every moon, so might as well try it here. I know there's going to be definitely other moons. Whoa, where the wind is blowing just as much. Boost right into it. Let's just fill up and then we'll head back to the 890. So let me know, guys. We have a lot of miners who watch this channel. You guys, would let me know what's your favorite moon or where you guys go to uh, get your mining fix on. This is my first time mining on Euterpia, and it probably will be my last, <laughs> to be honest with you. This moon is, is the, the storms are taking a toll. Okay, this should fill us up here. Man, if we could just stay still. All right, let's try one more time here. Take off this light, I can't see. All right, what do we got here? Doesn't even matter, I'm just gonna take it, guys. <laughs> it looks like the storm finally let off. We're gonna have a little bit of time here to chill. All right, this is actually not bad. We actually can see what we're doing. It's just the problem is the storms are just too frequent. You only get like maybe two or three minutes in between storms. But let's see. Let's uh, not look a gift horse in the mouth. Okay, we got like maybe 2% more I need to fill. Let me see if I can find something that will top us off here. You know, those were just inert materials. Don't want to deal with that. Okay, we got bunch of little candidates over here so we'll see which one's the best for for topping off but um, you know like I said I'm not being too picky we got one more rock over here at least it's an easy rock we might crack this one and take it we got oh this is the copper one all right whatever we'll take some copper guys just to top off I guess Holy crap, guys. This this mining laser is beautiful. Look how fast that goes. I think it's almost a little too strong. But we'll see how it goes. Power critical already. It goes up quick, but it loses it loses a uh, charge quick too. All right, we're almost done here right in the sweet spot. This rock was beautiful. That was a beautiful break. And we still took damage. That was a nice break. How do we take damage on that? All right, whatever. See what we got here. We don't need much. Some copper. Let's go. Wait, why am I looking at a different rock? They're all copper. What am I doing? I was going to a different piece thinking it was something different. Okay, we're full here. Let's go f switch out our bags, guys. Our first load of the day. That wasn't too bad. Besides the storm, that was pretty nice. All right, guys, touchdown. We're back. See how quick it takes us to unload these bags. I, I think I might float it. It might be easier if we float. Let's try it out. Give a little bit of an air. Just to give some space for the bags to come out the bottom. Alright, let's uh, head out. Hopefully I'll be able to get back in the ship. I didn't go too high. Okay, uh, I'll be able to reach. All right, come on out. Come on, bag. All right, first mole bag. Let's put this off to the side. 
You really can't tell if it's full or not, so we're just going to have to keep them separate from the empty bags. So we put that here on the right. Another full bag here. Throw it over to the right. Come on. Come on. Get out of there. Come on. Tug. There we go. Okay. A little bit of stickiness there to these mold bags, huh? Okay. Let's take out the other side. Oh, man. Come on. Don't get stuck on the elevator. There we go. Be a nice little bag and come on. Be easy. Let's do it. All right. So we got two more on this side, guys. Pull this out. Keep all the full bags together. Put that there. We have one more bag. Pull it out. Beautiful. Beautiful. That was the easy peasy one. I don't think I'll be able to get four. That's close enough. I'm not going to bring up the elevator, so it doesn't matter if things are on or off the elevator. All right. How hard is it to put these bags back in? Oh, that was pretty easy. That was easy. <laughs> like the meme. All right. Two more on this side, and we're ready to go back out there mining, guys. That wasn't too bad. Oh, I spoke a little bit too soon. Okay. There we go. Pop. And one more for the Gipper. Throw it in there. Beautiful. All right, let's head back out. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's land this baby, and then we will head out to another location and see if we can find any better spots. The rocks over there weren't too good. There wasn't that many different spots around here, so let's do a little bit of flying. Okay, guys, I'm going to switch out this hat. It's a little bit irking me. It doesn't match. You know, I like to match. I'm all about my style. Oh, yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, cool. Let's go. All right, guys, let's go and uh, find another location. Hopefully one that has one or two mining locations around. Okay guys, we got two rocks here, two potential targets. We'll set her down around here and see what we got. First target is right over the hill over here, or should I say right over this mountain? Oh yeah, baby, so beautiful. Damn, this game is gorgeous. All right, we got a lot of prospects over here. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven rocks in one area. Hopefully we got some gold at least. Get a couple of good scans in here. Looks like we got some freebies. Let me uh, take up this freebie. Don't even have to break the rock, so I'll take it. What do we have on here? What do we have here? If I could just get a straight scan. Storm is blowing me a little bit. So we got some Corona. And we got some Hephaestonite. So we'll take that for free. Not bad. I believe that's two mid-tier items. Oh, there's Corundum. Uh, Corona was a low tier item. I'm not sure, but definitely her fastenite is a mid tier. All right, free rocks. Let's see what else we got. Oh, another free rock. What is, what is this? Corundum raw. Do I want to take it? I think. Let's see what else we got here. We got so many different prospects. Actually, guys, it kind of looks like this might be a remnant of another player. These, these rocks are already broken. I think we're picking up somebody's scraps here. I mean, I ain't too shabby. Somebody else somebody else broke the rocks. Let's take it. What do we got here? Corundum. Let's just take it. It's freebies. Like I said, guys, I'm not too picky on what I grab. 
We're just out here trying to fill up our bags. Doesn't even matter. I'm just going to take it, guys. It looks like this rock is all corundum. Probably why it got left behind. One man's trash is another man's treasure, right? Oh, we got some Hephaestonite here as well. Oh, that's not too bad there. Hephaestonite for free? Maybe because the internet materials were a little bit high, but let's just take it, guys. What else do we have here? If I could just focus in a little bit. The storm keeps blowing me off target. At least it's not blowing me up like earlier. I was getting blown all over, hitting the ground and everything. Now we're just, it's a little bit difficult to aim, but, you know. I think I'm just going to take whatever I can. Alright, maybe if we go into the wind. Beautiful. Got some purple rocks here. Definitely, definitely somebody's leftovers. All right, maybe we'll break a rock ourselves. What we got here? Some corundum hephaestonite. So this this whole area here, these rocks here look like they're about the same composition. Let's see how hard it is to break. Okay, we're heating the rock at least. It says that it's easy. Besides, the storm blowing me back, blowing me out of range. Jeez, boost forward, boost forward. Here we go. Come on. Yeah, guys, this might be the last time I mine on, on Euterpe. All right. Almost there, guys. Go right up in it. I'm going to do it red. We're going to do it red. Because staying, oh, my God, as you can see, staying focused and on target doesn't work. But it's going to blow. Okay. Oh, we still, we took a little bit of damage there. All right, guys, let's just fill up, and then we're going to get out of here. The storms is just proving to be a little bit too much. Holy crap. At least I'm not the only one out here mining. We, we ran into somebody's leftovers, so I'm not the only idiot trying to fight the storm. <laughs> but, hey, I'm doing it so you guys don't have to, right? Okay. Let's just take it. Let's just take it. The thing about low tier items is quantity that you need, you know what I mean? So, might as well fill up our bags. This is a pretty big rock here. All right, beautiful. Like I said, guys, I'm not even like money chasing. I'm just doing this to try and get better at mining and get into the flow of it. I really enjoy this, you know, uh, living out in the 890 in the wild and where well, we have more corundum. And you know, it's just, I don't want to take more Corona. Holy crap. Let's see. If, let, let, let's just see if we got any more Hephaestus tonight. Check these last two rocks over here. These freebies. What do we got here? Come on. Come on, Storm. Let me just get a scan, Storm. Slow down. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, no, the storm, I'm just going to take it, guys. The storm won't even let me get a scan in. And I'm pretty sure it's corundum. All right. About halfway full here. What rock is this? Get a scan on this bad boy. We're going to have to break it. Uh, 1700 mass. Some Terranite. Okay, cool. Let's see how hard... It, oh, wrong, wrong laser. See how whoa this one's heating up quick. Gotta feather it, guys. I think the helix might be a little too powerful, but it's like either the rock is too small or the rocks are too big. There's like no Goldilocks in between. Oh, we didn't take any damage there, luckily. Holy crap, yeah. It's like the rocks that I can mine, the helix is too strong, but when the mass is above 20 grand. You know, it's like the helix not strong enough for that. So it's like there's no in-between. I don't know. I might have to switch out lasers, but 
I got the helix just in case I, I, I had rocks that I wanted to break that I could not break, you know, without a crew. So I wanted the maximum power I could get. I'm gonna rock out with it some more. So this 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 is all corundum here. How many SEO of corundum we have? About 15. I'm kind of not being picky here as well because of the storms. The storms is pissing me off, so I just want to fill up this bag and head back to the 890. And we might go find another moon to do. Like I said, guys, this might be the last time of mining on Euterpe. All right, what do we have? More corundum, baby. This is the corundum batch. More corundum. Corundum is raw. And I'm taking it all. Alright, inert materials. Alright, we're not that bad. We're not going to take just a rock full of inert materials, right? And also, if I come up to Quantanum, it's going to suck because... Because I don't want to head back to the to the mining to the refinery so fast, we might have to, you know, forfeit any quantanium we find. I don't know exactly if I will do that, but we'll see. Because if I get quantanium, I'm gonna have to fly it back immediately before it gets unstable. So it's a decision I'm gonna have to make. All right, we have some corundum. It's all corundum. All right, whatever. I'll take corundum. I'll take it. All right, guys, let's head back towards 890. There was a couple of rocks over there that's going to help us out, fill up our, our bags before we uh, land and, and get back to the 890. There goes that beautiful ship. Jeez, man, look at that. I love this game. It's so beautiful. It's kind of blending in with the terrain. It would be cool if it was hard to spot because of the white snow. All right, so like I said, guys, there was some rocks over here by the 890, and I think we will use these here to fill up the rest of our uh, wares. See what we got. Looks like the storm subsided for us. Might be able to get some good rocks. Oh, Terranite. I'll take that. That's a mid-tier item. Whoop, wrong laser again. All right. Got to get a little closer, a little closer, a little closer. Should be able to break this rock. All right, there we go. All right, that's the perfect distance. Whoa, that's floating up quick. All right, easy, easy, easy. Man, the helix is just too strong for its own good. Holy crap, that shot up. All right, back up, back up, back up. There, it's going to blow. Maybe a little further. There we go. All right, good. We didn't take any damage. What do we have here? Looks like the storm is back, guys. The storm is back. Almost there guys. This is the last rock. The last two rocks. Alright, we got a little bit of Bexlite here. Another I think Bexlite's actually a high tier item, right? I think that's on par with gold, if I'm not mistaken. Take it all, baby. I think all the ites, Terranite, Laranite, Bexalite. I think they're on par with gold. And we are full, baby. All right. Let's take it back to the 890. This was a long day of mining. I think we filled up two rounds, two trips of the prospector. Boom. Beautiful. All 
All right, guys, let's get this unloaded. See if there's enough room if we're landed. We could, can we take it out with the prospector landed? Come on. Oh yeah, okay, so we don't have to float. We could just land it. That's good to know. It's a little bit tighter to take out, but it comes out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Man, sometimes these bags don't want to pull out, but you just got to get it in the right spot. All right. Well, though, guys, that'll do it for this mining video. If you found this video informative, entertaining, don't forget to smash that like button and share it with your fellow star citizens. And if you haven't already, subscribe and join the Discord community. In the month of April, we're giving away a 125A, just standalone ship, but all you have to do to qualify is leave a comment on any video in the month of April to participate. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.